think it's just somebody who's like, oh, it's a drone. I'm like, no, it's just an eagle, dude. <laughs> it's just like hunting. It's just doing bird stuff. <laughs> it says, and upon locating such prey, dive down at high speed and impale its prey with what appears to be a metallic proboscis. Yeah, it's the the pointy end of the of a mosquito. Oh, I mean, it's just a beak. Yeah, it's just a big ass. It's it's a. I don't want to be around that mosquito, but it sounds like it's a big ass mosquito that hunts small rodents. <laughs> Jeez. Analysis of its prey shows that it then ejects a highly caustic substance that liquefies the internal organs. Okay, maybe not an eagle. What? And extracts the resulting slurry. Ugh. What's happening right now? SCP-160. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> SCP-160 will generally avoid humans and larger animals. Pussy. <laughs> but has been recorded using its proboscis in self-defense. This is like sword fighting. Oh, God. It's like, ching, ching, ching. The bear comes at it. Oh, it's like, ching, ching, ching. <laughs> Injuries inflicted by SCP-160 are extremely painful and can yeah. cause death via liquefaction of vital organs or internal bleeding. Oh, man. Don't get into a fencing battle with this thing. Good no. Lord. Yeah, he doesn't have the little nub on the end of his, I don't think. No. Mm. Thank goodness this object class is Euclid. It's not freaking safe. Oh, yeah. See, I forgot to even look at that. I would have guessed safe. <laughs> After everything else we've been through. <laughs> Further research on SCP-160 is underway, but has proven difficult due to SCP-160's continuous operation. Tranquilizer darts are ineffective as SCP-160 appears to be entirely composed of non-biological components and request to attempt a low-intensity electromagnetic pulse to disable it have been rejected due to possible unforeseen damage. This sounds like some sort of futuristic cryptid. Yeah. Like some sort of, I don't know, what is it? Like a cyborg stork. <laughs> you know? But it's out for flesh. Oof. Like a pterodactyl. Oh. SC- huh? No. Oh. <laughs> What's going on here? SCP-160 was discovered by Foundation agents on a redacted date following multiple reports of household pets from the town of Redacted. It's a nice place. You ever been there? <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. It's nice any it, time of the year. Oh, yeah. White picket fences everywhere. All the kids say, hello, mister. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Regardless of if you're a mister or not. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not so nice then. <laughs> Uh, disappearing and subsequently being found dead under unusual circumstances. These animals, these household pets. SCP-160 was quickly identified and lured into a transport vehicle by a containment team and subsequently taken to site redacted. A search of the area turned up over redacted, desiccated, small animals, including house cats, rabbits, wild rodents, and miniature dogs. Good lord. How? So they tricked it to get into a transport vehicle? E I guess, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Like you just put some, uh, put some live animals in there for it to go after. Yeah, like uh, here's prey. a kitty cat, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> a little kitty cat. <laughs> it's like attacking the cats again. I wonder if it makes noise. Like, is it fully? Yeah, that's a good point. Like, how how does it hunt? Does it flap its wings? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a hummingbird. It's got those weird goes in and out. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they're the only birds that can hover. Others just kind of cruise with thermals and all that. Yeah, they're the only birds who can hover in place. But their wings move like bumblebees, don't they? They make like, I think it's like a figure eight pattern, like you were saying. Yeah. And isn't that how bumblebees' wings go? I think so. I don't, I don't know. You'd have to ask one. Science says bumblebees. <laughs> oh, what do they know? What does science know? They told us the Earth was a globe. <laughs> Bumblebees don't care about your science. How could a bumblebee fly if gravity was real? <laughs> huh? You tell me that, sir. Bumblebees don't care about your gravity either. <laughs> How does a helium balloon go up if gravity? Hello? It also did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they got this thing in the truck, and this is how they contain it. SCP-160 is kept in a secure biocontainment chamber at Site Redacted. SCP-160 is to be fed live prey in the form of a rabbit or other animal of similar mass once per week, with feeding to be performed via automated delivery system only. What? Why does it need 
flesh 